Thank you for staying with us. The defection of 27 members of the River State House of Assembly from the People's Democratic Party to the All Progressives Congress continues to elicit mixed reactions. While the state chapter of the APC welcomes the move, some youth groups took to the streets of Port Harcourt to, in opposition to the step taken by the lawmakers. Senior reporter Uche Okuro has details. The leadership of the APC in River State is celebrating. Defect not because they have won an election, but the APC can lay claim to majority of members in the 32-seat House of Assembly. The APC says the decision of the lawmakers would pave way for good governance in River State. I hope you remember that era, where 16 was deemed to be higher than uh, 19. I've gone past that. And again, the assembly members who had defected had confided in me that leadership, governance in River State had been run aground, that there is no government in River State. The defection of the lawmakers has also led to further speculation about the political future of the former governor and FCT minister, Nyesom Wike. We need the, the Wike to come to Macedonia and help us. Remember that. I said, we are begging Wike, beckoning on him to come and join the APC, that in 2023, he aided very immensely the victory of APC, the jeans-breaking victory of APC in River State. Elsewhere, members of the Ogoni Youth Federation and Ijo Youth Council came together for a solidarity rally in support of Governor Siminalai Fubara. They condemned the defection of the state assembly, calling for the lawmakers to vacate their seats. We are here to say no to any unholy and unscrupulous plan to unlawfully impeach the governor. We say that cannot work. Of course. After this time, we shall go and occupy the River State House of Assembly. Yeah. The youth are saying, no sim. No, no, no sim. No Every assembly member that are defected under, under party, we move a motion that your seats should be declared vacant. That is all we talk. That is all we talk. He will not take the interests of River State for granted. The development of River State is paramount in his agenda. For whatever is happening now, by the special grace of God and by your collective support, peace will be restored. The youths are on the streets today, but say this solidarity rally that has terminated at the River State Government House represents the thoughts and expresses the mind of all River State across all age groups and all ethnic nationalities. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt. And uh, we have some of our guests uh, here to speak with us on this matter. Uh, from Port Harcourt, we have former spokesman of Bandev, Sukubo uh, Anas Sara Igbe. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, but my name is also Kubo. My name is uh, Isaias Anab Saraibi. All right. Noted. Now, let's quickly move to our Abuja studio where we have lawyer Inibehe F. Young also join us to look at uh, the constitutionality of the matter and le legal implications. Inibehe, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Now, uh, let me go to Port Harcourt, uh, Mr. Sarah Igbe. Let's get your perspective on this recent development in the state. Uh, there are those who would say that what the people of the state actually need is just good governance, uh, no matter who is, uh, you know, taking the helms of affairs or managing the helms of affairs in the state. But let's get your perspective of this recent developments that we are seeing uh, from the state. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, as an elder statesman, uh, rivers people are interested in peace. We want to make sure there is peace so that there will be governance. We cannot get governance without peace. So for us to get good governance, we appeal to all the warring factions to put down their sword, come to the round table, and let's get peace. As regarding the movement of uh, 27 lawmakers to APC, 
My comment is very simple. Their leader, Yeso Wike, at, over the time, has said you cannot take the mandate of another party to another party. He had initiated court actions in the past for those who left their party to another party. So I am surprised that the man who has been saying you cannot leave your party to another party will encourage people to leave their party and uh, go to another party. And to make this worse, here was a man who said APC uh, is cancer, why PDP is malaria. I don't know what has made him to see something good in the APC now that will encourage the lawmakers to move. But legally speaking, um, if the speaker, recognized by the court yesterday, declare their seat vacant, their seat will remain vacant. So if he calls on INEC to uh, call for another election, that ends the matter. So I think it's not a wise decision at this as a stand because the currently recognized speaker by the High Court will definitely um, declare their seat vacant and they will become irrelevant. I don't know, but that is part of the reasons why maybe they are also recognizing him because from the point of law, these other lawmakers are no longer uh, members of the House of Assembly. I've been deflected. But, but when you listen to, to what party. the lawmakers, the, the grievances of the lawmakers that cross capital, they said that uh, they accused the governor of not disbursing funds. That was one of the major uh, reasons why they said that they were cross capiting, uh, moving over to the APC as it is. I, I, I believe that has nothing to do with uh, the former governor of the state, Nyesum Wiki. Whichever way you look at it, they, there is no crisis in the PDP River State, and there is no crisis in the PDP at the national level. So where the party has no crisis, then you don't have any right to take that as an excuse to move to another party. Whatever happened in the House of Assembly is different from what the Constitution says. People quarrel in the House of Assembly, they carry maids, they find themselves, they reconcile. The best they would have done was to see how they can reconcile uh, themselves in the House than to move out of their party. The mandate it was not given to them. The mandate was given to the party, according to the few judgments we've had. So if mandate was given to their party and they have walked out of their party, it means they have left their mandate. So I don't see the wisdom in it. Whatever they say, they can say. Anybody can give any excuse. But I'm sure it, these things will be tested in the court of law. And uh, most so when the High Court has recognized the speaker, the other, the functional speaker, Edison, I think uh, we will see how it is. But if us people are not happy, we can see from the demonstration that people are not happy with happenings in the state. Now, you cannot divorce the happenings from years of wiki because... Uh, the matter, they will tell you the problem is between Yes or Wiki and the governor. And the governor has come out to say uh, father and son relationship. They have called family matter. We've had all kinds of things. But uh, we are surprised that ever since they saw the president, the governor has not been making statements. They have not been making a parliamentary statement. He has been calling for peace. He has been working towards peace. The only other party from, the, from that they said he would not take the instruction of the president and he has been doing these things in some way. And if he thinks by moving to APC uh, himself and uh, God DJ, good, good DJ, the party chairman of APC, can now convince Mr. President to, to, DJ, to, to convince him to say, okay, let us remove the, the governor. River State is a very serious state. It's, it's one of the economic center of Nigeria. So anything you are doing with River State can do boomerang to the economy of Nigeria. People should realize that whatever they are doing. It's not a child play. And so Mr. President needs to call his minister to order because if it causes problem for him in River State, it will spill over to the entire Niger Delta 
and that would not go well for a country that is struggling to survive financially. We are indebted to several countries, and uh, we are looking for how we can raise money. So if okay, you now trigger, if the cannot trigger situations that will uh, further worsen the economy because you are the minister or because uh, you want to have power or because you want to control uh, both the APC and PDP. Your, your point is made, in, Mr. Mr. Saraiwe. Uh, let, me, let me take it to Abuja because you actually talked about the issue of uh, law and that's what Nigerians have been you know, making reference to, that uh, the fact that we had, I'm coming to you, Inibe F. Young, uh, in the fact that we've got 27 lawmakers who defected from their estuar political party or parties on which, on which they, they, they got elected into the, 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 house of, uh, the uh, house, the state house of assembly, uh, that it is quite unconstitutional. Before we even go to the issue of the ex party order that they got, uh, that they, uh, got in, in, in court uh, just you know, last, yesterday, uh, what do you make of this whole thing? Do you, feel, do you feel that there is enough division, there is enough crisis within the party for them to have uh, said that they want or they, they wanted to? Uh, defect to the APC party, which we already seen them to, vis-a-vis -vis the section 109, uh, subsection 1G that has been, you know, uh, quoted so far. Thank you for having me. I, I have listened to the arguments canvassed by the River State KTK chairman of the APC, who in a press conference or a press 